Welded a bit of a bulkhead here out of eighth inch to mount the pedal assembly. You can see I just cut a huge hole. <laughs> and I tack welded the throttle bracket in place so that I could then match up this bulkhead to it, bolt everything up, and now I'm gonna cut those tacks. The master cylinder, brake booster, and pedal assembly are mocked in. So now I'm going to get the ABS system put together, mocked in. Mounted the controller down low. Now I just need to route the lines to the master cylinder and brake lines, the actual calipers. There's the basic idea, just kind of mocked up. Obviously, still need to route the lines for the front brakes. And then the splice joint down here for the rear. Here's a VW front disc and a Leaf front disc underneath, just comparing the uh, sizes here, it looks like, I don't know, roughly three-eighths of an inch on each side. Major difference is the size of the actual rotor itself. A lot more surface here than on the VW. Got the Nissan Leaf wheels attached to the specially drilled VW rotors. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Here's a front leaf caliper to the specially drilled VW rotor. And it looks like it could work. I just need to get a, uh, an adapter plate made for this um, caliper to the existing mount. Just got the disc brake conversion for the rear and the leaf wheels and tires mounted up and check out the difference these are some wide wheels on some v on the VW but you can see the big difference in the leaf wheel pretty cool I'm excited to get them all on and the fronts are installed using the new rotors drilled out for five on four and a half and you can see the difference there on the height as well as the width of the wheels. Just, you know. Dude, you're strong. I am. What was it? 300 some odd pounds? Yeah, I know. It's just like <laughs> 358 foot yeah, pounds. <laughs> you know, Iron Man. I'll well. tell you what. <laughs> you didn't see those, did you? <laughs> <laughs> wailing on you should see the wheel because oh, yeah. like the only way to hit that is to hit the wheel it's too to hit the wheel <laughs> it's so well, ridiculous or you can put a breaker bar on it but oh i had a breaker bar on it as yeah. well and you know you're not you're hitting kind of both at the same time yeah it's pretty silly it's a mother yeah it's a mother oh, look at that whoa where are the brakes It won't go on that way. This is how precise this kit is. It's pretty awesome. It'll only go on this way. Pretty sweet.
this up. As you can see on this side, it was really close. Here is the stock Nissan Leaf rear brake lines. And here's the arrangement in the fast leaf. Using those stock lines. And using the stock Nissan Leaf ABS equipment. And the front lines as well. These are VW. But everything leading up to them is Leaf. I have these nice new MP calipers that are going to replace these original calipers to match the new rotors. Just have it sitting here I'm gonna tighten this down and then break these open. Just gonna leave it sitting like that for a minute. Hopefully we'll get some flow. There we go, less than a minute. Going to do the same with the top bleeder bolt, but I have a little piece of tube so it doesn't leak all over the place. Here it comes. Looking good. Everything's buttoned down. There's still some gap that uh, I'm not going to worry about. It's up on the lift and I just have to remember to uh, consider that when I uh, go to bleed these proper. After stepping on the pedal a few times they really snugged up. got the brakes sort of bled and one little conflict that I'm seeing is the ABS module and the tie rod so I'll have to kind of reposition that slightly once uh, or when the car is on the ground so when I hit a suspension bump it's definitely gonna hit that guy Brakes are doing their job really well now, and I look forward to enabling ABS and traction control once the AV conversion is complete. Thanks for watching, and it looks like steering is up next.